Hello everyone and welcome yet to another video. In today's video we play on demonic duels which you can find in my description if you ever want to play this in a future wipe. Also, in today, unfortunately in today's video my tribe mates discord audio cut out so you will not be hearing it. Uh, I also want to say that I am a bit late to this upload because I did not have any content to edit or upload. So I'm very sorry for that and I'm probably going to slow, slow my upload rate so I can have a good consistency uh, upload schedule. So it will be every three days now. Hopefully that's not too much of a bother, but without any further ado, let's get into contesting the best cave on Fjordr day one. Oh fuck! We gotta level oxygen quickly, cause that's where this thing is. Oh my god, you can go for it instantly. Just go for whatever. No one's gonna break foundations. And by the time they break it, they might break one and you'll you'll be able to get stone. Oh, I TP'd and instantly died to raptors. Yeah, I'm leveling stam as well. Because like that's what most people don't think of. Nice. I'm level 34. I got two raptors on me, bro. This shit is annoying. Some kids running down to the cave, by the way. So by this point, I believe my tribe had gotten stone foundations down, but it turned out he only had thatch and he left the spot. Now, I was very confused as to why he would do something like this, as it was not very safe. And that's why I did not go for the cave, because I believed it was already secured. So, unfortunately, they ended up breaking the spam and claimed the first part of the cave. Wait, you only have thatch? We need to get the stone quickly then. I got two rafters on me, man. I can't do sh**. Yeah, I have metal tools as well, but there's rafters on me, so it's making it harder. If you come try me in the cave, I got stuff. For what? Oh, the cave is... Uh, Vardiland North, then Southwest. So you already got the cave, but uh, I got stuff for stone, like a lot of stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna swim into the cave and then hopefully yeah. I, did you just arrive in with the TP? Yeah, I see you. I'm just gonna get more stone and get gates and hopefully we can gate off the cave. I'm gonna just come down to you now. I'm level 64. It's a bit high, so I think XP is not really an issue here. We don't we might not even have to do a no run. Wait, did this? Wait, they destroyed yours? Yeah, the metal hat is not hard. I also have that. If we can get spam somewhere in the cave, though, that'd be nice. Just so we can come back with our throne. Get the. Oh yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting spammed down. Right, they, they practically only have the moon pool. Which yeah, it's a big part of the cave. But if they start building in it first, then they're stupid. We'll go get turrets and stuff. And yeah, yeah, but they don't. So let's just. I know, I know a lot of places to farm on Fjord. If you can just get metal smelting, I'll get everything else. Literally. Wait, what does paste need? Please tell me paste is only stone. Wait, check. Is it stone or chitin? Or what is it? Can you check? Is it stone only? Okay, then, then we can get thirds within the next 10 minutes. If we play it, right? Only issue would be if uh, they get up the moon pool. Then that's just going to be hard. Um, I can go get a lot. If you can start getting forges up. I'm gonna get some armor and then I'm gonna go get the metal. I'm gonna, like, how much metal do you want? Like 10k, 15k? I'll get everything we need. Metal, poly, crystal, silica. But yeah, I'll get the metal and silica both at once. I then came to the most notorious cave on Fjordr where I had my first solo series and I just decided to farm metal. This cave is way too big for duos so I didn't think anyone would claim it and I stand it correct. So I just, you know, farmed the entire cave.
I really want to go out and farm silica pearls, but this thing is standing right in my face. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's try it. Oh, actually, made it. Oh wow, I'm getting a lot of silica pearls now. Yeah, okay. It's nice. Is this you? Oh, that's me, that's me, that's me. I was ready to fight. Yeah, that thing was mad at me and now it's mad at you. What level was this? 55? Oh, I don't care. I thought we lost a good one. There's two? Oh my god. We're getting the best deal of our life. No. I'm killing fire source right now. I'll kill the speedy once I kill this fire source. Or electronics. Oh yes, that is. Oh already 100 electronics. Okay, that saved us 100 metal. I genuinely don't know where your base is. I can't really help. How far? Like, you good? Grab this PT saddle, because I don't know if those are only fiber. Oh, yeah, they are, they are, never mind. But they save hide. Oh, you're fucked. This, that is a bob box, man. I then tamed the parser in the most notorious way ever. Oh, that scared the living shit out of me. This Rex just roared at me and then ran away. Okay, now I got a bird's eye view. Now maybe I can tell where your base is. I still can't see it. I mean, I guess it's a good spot if I can't find it. Oh, oh my god, I see it. What the f Why have you made it that big? Oh, this is too much. This is way too much. Hopefully this is quick. Wait, while you do it, wait, what do you need me for? Just the metal, right? And tribe, obviously. I then left the base to go farm and I spotted this guy taming a 130 PT that I wanted. Being some kid. Um, yeah, I'm being some kid. Oh no! This friend just pulled up. I don't know. I'd say stay there. Because I don't think we should fight over this. There's a 130 PT we're fighting over. I really want this. They both ran, but that's good news. Means I'm the alpha male. <clears throat> so my clipping software ended up cutting short, but a kid came back and I killed them, then I tamed the 130 PT. 
I then came to what I consider the best poly spawn on the map. I mean, the bee cave is way better, but this is way more uh, uncontested. Now I'm just confused. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, two poly spawns right in each other. This is. Wow. This is heaven right here. Like, if I died and I'd be in heaven, this is what I wanted to be. Two poly spawns right in each other. Oh my god, 820 poly just like that. Alright, I'm on 2.7k poly. That's gonna be good for a while. I then came to this spot where I farm crystal, fiber, thatch, wood, and stone because it is just so good. It's like the Gen 1 lunar or it's exactly like a gen 1 lunar and also you get two cave drops in this cave uh, and they count like underwater drops so they're, they're really really good so yeah i found my crystal here i got about 1.5k then i went for the drops which i'm gonna show you um now in this next clip oh my i just got a 181 pump back there tonight Hey, what was blue in back there? It was nothing. Bro, these cave drops, I'm telling you, man, that's crazy. Oh, there's a red drop here, but there's a lot of Ravengers on it. Then I came over to the low island. I love my TP spot. It's Balheimer East. It TPs you really close to Red Orb and the Sulphur Field. And you can get oil. And it's just perfect, in my opinion. But... Yeah, I tip it over here to farm sulfur, oil, and I also wanted to craft some cryopods as our base was under the water, kind of, so you, the cave was underwater, so you kind of had to, you needed cryos. You, you think I can run up behind the Arthur and try to tame it? The sneak attack. Getting oil right now. I know where everything is on this map. I don't, know, I don't know how much oil we need, but I got like 600. I don't feel like oil is an important aspect. I don't need that much. Yeah. I then instantly stopped everything I was doing because our. <laughs> beautiful starter was getting pulled up on and i couldn't let that slide because we had about 1.6k metal in that base so i really rushed with everything i had to that starter because we needed to um save it i'm getting rich if i die i'll be fuming we should probably move out of there quickly though oh yeah that's a car yeah never mind sorry all right I'm in for a picking battle. Uh, it's true, we do not have whips. I'll just wear his stamina out. Yeah, I'm wearing his stamina out. I'm go yeah, just go for it, man. Go for it. Go to Alpha Corner. Oh. Got you. Alpha corner is not hitting this guy, so yeah. Oh no, 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 close door. I'm going to. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I actually fucking am a beast. Ain't no way my baller here after like what? Oh, oh no. What's going on with my game? Oh, wait, my game is getting right now no clue man yeah i'm no i'm oh my thing is bolad Oh, 
Oh, you didn't for the bets. I got one of them. I got one of them picked. Oh, that was your last bowl as well, kid. Oh, you're gonna get smoked. Yeah, I'm really trying, but uh, I think they're trying to run. I got one of them. I killed him. Oh, back over here, back over here. There's no way I just bought my own thing. Oh, I got, I got him, I got him, I got him. I killed him. I'll bead. He had a stego saddle on him. Yeah, that was you got it. You got your flag kit, right? Let's go. Let's leave. I got you. I got you. Nice. After a very successful fight and us actually winning that, well, it was more me, but you know, I don't want to flex. <laughs> but uh, we decided to move out of base instantly because. Um, there was no way we could stay in the same base after that much attraction luring over to our starter. I'm pretty sure that was also more than a duo, but at the end of the day, who cares? I'm pretty sure alliances were allowed, so they were rolling through with a three-man. But either way, we decided to move out quickly because we just didn't have the capacity to fight everyone off. In here. Not too bad. For now, a lot of space, and we can fit a lot of gates in here. Just for now, we don't we want the cave. It's very close to the cave. That's going to have to be it for today's video. If you guys do want to see the progress throughout this do series, make sure to leave a like and comment that you do enjoy the series. Now, I'm cutting this series short, or this episode short, because I don't want to make the episodes too long. I mean, we're already at 19 minutes, and not so much has happened. This is a very nice one. I mean... Next episode, uh, I'm not going to spoil too much, but just be ready for a full-on switch of everything. Like, everything goes... Uh, everything, like, if we expected it to go one way, it went another way. And if we expected it to go that way, and it went the other way. So, just make sure to stay tuned. Hit subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Uh, notification bell. Join my Discord in case you don't want to miss any uploads. Also, we do have some custom events and just chatting there and shit. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And without any further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.